Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with another reaction. Carly Simon, that's the way I always heard it should be. This was a request by Paul. Thank you so much for this request and donation. And I'm looking forward to this because what an interesting title. Already provokes a lot of thoughts. And uh, yeah, I love uh, that type of stuff. This is a live version from 1971. And it's going to be the first Carly Simon song on the channel. And even for me, just in general. So... Let's go. Say good night to all you beautiful faces. Wow. I'm so happy to see you. Awesome. I'm gonna sing a song that I heard on Jones Beach today. Yeah. Anyway, this song that we heard on Jones Beach is a kind of weird song about marriage. Okay, so, you know, this sentence, which is the title, it could be applied to many, many situations in life here. This is about marriage and the traditional way, just that's how I heard it should be. So I guess we'll marry, you know, it's like almost it's expected. There's a blueprint, you know, um, you get this age, you get married you get a house, whatever, children, you know, here we say, in Belgium we say, huisje, tuintje, uh, beestje, or, you know, there's multiple ways of saying it's like house, garden, uh, pet, or house, garden, baby, or whatever, you know, some some similar that you might have in, in English-speaking countries. Um, yeah, I like that, and especially that first verse. But she said, I heard this song somewhere today, so it, this is by somebody else. I have to look that up. Oh, it does seem to be her song. She might have heard her own song somewhere or something, but it's written by Carly Simon and Jacob Brackman. Okay, what I really liked in this first verse was the description of setting the scene of a father who sits in the dark silently and a mother who is reading her magazines in a bedroom. So, so they're not sitting together, first of all, and it's quiet, silence, and... The person in the story is tiptoeing around them, so you don't really want to converse with them because you never know what type of Pandora's box you might open. I understand that all too well. And she said, call the sweet dreams, and I forgot to dream. So there's, there's really like a lackluster home, right? Mm. And her voice reminded me a bit of uh, Joni Mitchell. Great sounding voice, especially in those high ranges. All right, let's continue. I'm 
themselves for what they are. And yet they drink, they laugh, close the wounds, hide the scar. But you say Wow. You say we'll soar like two birds through the clouds, but soon you'll cage me on your shelf. I'll never learn to be just me first by myself. Dang. Wow. Powerful song. Wow, that's a powerful song. And her voice, you know, I commented about the high range. It sounded so good. But when she goes into the mid and a little bit to the lowers, there's a lot of power there, too. And the lyrics, man, wow. Whew. Like I told like I said, that blueprint that you almost have to follow. It's it's like, oh, you know, we have to marry, and it's not like, oh, I'm excited to get married. It's like a resignation, like, all right, let's do it. Cause that's how they set the example for me. And I guess I have to follow it. Uh, I can't explore my own life and you know go you know, do what I want or love who I want or, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, shut up, be quiet kind of thing, you know, to say it, you know, uh, uh, brutally, really. Mm. Like, and then you look at, they're looking at other people, friends from college, they all have their houses and their lawns. Like I said in the beginning, hey, shit, don't you? You know, uh, in the U.S., it's like white picket fence type. Of, that's the expression. They have that, but she never mentioned the word home they said house she said house so it's a difference it's a big difference right mm. and they laugh they drink you know you you laugh it off but that is um hiding the scars very 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 well written song uh yeah it's like oh the parents and then they're creating a cycle of resentment as well you know where was the line they hate themselves for what they are, and the children hate them hate them for the things they're not, you know, because they feel caged. But then they go to marrying, and you say we'll soar like two birds through the clouds. That's the promise before they get married. But soon you'll cage me on your shelf, and then the cycle continues. You know, the mother in the bedroom reading magazines, the father in the dark uh, sitting downstairs. You know, and that's you know that's how it 
is or was for uh, for uh, quite a long time maybe at some places it still is and you get the example you don't want to be that but you become it and then the cycle of resentment um uh, starts and keeps going right mm, what a that's a great great song loved the piano playing the music the voice carly simon i need to check out more of her music wow that was impressive you know, I already knew based on the title. That's the way I always heard it should be. Mm. It's like you're giving in to that, right? You know it's not right, but you follow along. You fall in, in line, basically. Uh, you want to marry me? We'll marry. Like the tone of that is like, oh, all right, let's do it. That is heartbreaking. Wow, what a song. I'm very impressed. Uh, uh, I'm taking it back, really. Wow, that was great. All right. Let me know any other Carly Simon songs. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the recommendations. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.